Listen, I've got this whole high school thing psyched out. It all breaks down into clicks. Clicks? Yeah, you know, clicks. Little in groups of different kids. All we have to do is click with the right click and we can finally have a social life that's worthy of us. No way. Not even with cleavage. I told you, this year we're gonna be popular. Yeah? Yeah. Even if it kills us. Like, I have a choice. People, please! Simmer down. This is an orientation, not a picnic. I'm Muffy Tepperman. I'm the captain of the Weema Wee JV Pep Squad. And I'm here to make sure you all have a good time. Woo! Within limits. And now, I sincerely think it behooves me to introduce to you our beloved principal and friend, Dr. Winthrop Dingleman. So, people, let's really hear it. <laughs> Thank you, Muffy. Hello. Five will get you ten. They call him Dingleberry. Yo, hey, Dingleberry! <laughs> Who said that? Why haven't I caught him on Carson? Do you look at them? I can't. He's John Travolta, Sylvester Stallone, and the Fonz rolled into slightly less than one. And she has the most amazing pectoral development. Killer. Killer couple. They've got to be the absolute top couple in the entire freshman class. And we're going to make friends with them. Let me ask you something, Lauren. When you saw Jaws, did it ever occur to you to make friends with the shark? And now... The pride and joy of the music department, LaDonna Fredericks, will close the assembly with her own version of our beloved alma mater. Now, if you'll all please rise and give LaDonna a big wee Indian yell. <laughs> Don't get cellulite. Hi. 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 So, Jennifer, you and Vinny going to the freshman dance? I don't know, you know. I mean, like, I know Vinny likes me, but, like, you know, I don't know. Ah, broken nail. Okay, I've been, like, looking over the senior guys, you know? Uh-huh. And you know who I, like, like, you know? Who? Larry Simpson. Oh, look out. Larry Simpson's a stone fox. Wait a second, girl. Are you telling me that you would dump Vinny if Larry Simpson asked you to the dance? Okay, Larry Simpson's, like, mature, you know? Like, he's got depth. Uh-huh, and proof. Okay, like, Vinny can fake ID anytime he wants. But you can't fake depth. Oh. Hi! Who's Larry Simpson? Only the biggest fox in the entire senior class. <laughs> 
devastating. I think he looks just like a young Lord Larry Olivier. Well, I think he sort of looks like Luke on General Hospital. Yo, babes. Hey. Well, Donna, little Danucci, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Is that actually like a lunchbox? <laughs> How queer. No, it's a primitive nuclear device. A nuclear device, huh? It's a crack up, huh, Jennifer? Yeah, Vincent, real funny. You know, I was wondering, like, how do you manage to eat without, like, getting food stuck in your braces? You know those Budweiser taste buds you see on TV? Well, Lauren persuaded them to come live in her mouth and pick the food particles out of her braces. <sighs> well, like, I hope it works. Because, you know, it really makes me sick to see food stuck in someone's braces. And, like, I wouldn't want to get sick all over your nice lunchbox, which your mommy probably packed for you all neat with, like, baggies and everything, you know? Oh, come on, Lauren. If there's to be any projectile vomiting, I want to make certain we're out of range. Hey, yo, yo, middle mom. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Why did you have to say that thing about the Budweiser taste buds? We were doing fine till then. I don't know. I guess they're at the tip of my tongue. Speaking of tongue, beautiful, I'll trade you half a tongue sandwich for half of whatever you got. No, thanks. Seriously, though, I'm Marshall Blackman, and I want to welcome you to the Wee Wee. Wee Wee. You sure you don't want any talk? I only eat junk food. Phew. It's my buddy Johnny Slash over here. He's laid back and he's left back. And he's the only genuine punk in Wee Wee Central High. I love him. I love this man. Are you really a punk? Punk? No way. I'm new wave. Totally different head. Totally. Right. I could paint my braces white, maybe with poster paint. That way they wouldn't show up as much against my teeth. That will never work, dum-dum. Well, it might work better than some of your brilliant ideas. I was willing to try the adhesive tape, wasn't I? You know, I really like you two. You've got no style. I mean, your style is anti-style. You know what I mean? It's like, totally different head. Totally. I mean, you can have style yeah, without yeah, yeah. having we, style. We, yeah. we know, Johnny. We love you. You're terrific. Johnny Slash, ladies and germs. A great humanitarian, a great human being, and a great bag boy. And as for me, I'm a practicing stand-up comedian. In other words, I'm always practicing. But seriously, feel free to cop any of my material. You know, if you need a few act. I don't have an act. All right, well, well, we'll check this out anyway. James Cagney is Johnny Slash. Ooh, you dirty rat. Ooh, ooh. ooh, you got a totally different head. Ooh, I like you two because you have no style. No style, you. Johnny, what are you doing? They love me. I was on a roll. We'll be back, folks. We love you. Mm. Thank you. What are you doing, Sally? I'm worried. I'm worried. I know I swore a sacred oath never again to be seen in public with a lunchbox. But are you sure this is a good idea? Positive. I mean, we've been dumping my lunch down the dumper every day for almost an entire week now, right? But statistically speaking, how long do you think we can keep on getting away with it? Trust me. Anyway, it's either that or have your mother find out that you haven't been eating your lunch, that she packed for you on the, like, baggies and everything, you know? And then you'll get the standard rap about the starving children in India. El Salvador. My mother's nothing if not hip. Whatever. LD, you should, like, let me do your hair sometime, you know? I'm like this dynamite beautician. Yeah? Yeah. Can you do cornrows? No, but I do a fabulous streak and tip. Girl. Like, gross me out the door. No wonder she's so popular. Patty, hurry up. This place does not stay empty for long. The strawberry yogurt won't flush. Why did you have to be absent the day God gave out motor skills? I told you, my mother knows. All week, she's been deliberately giving me foods that float. Your paranoia level really freaks me out. Incidentally, what are we going to do about the big freshman dance? Not go? If only we could hook up with someone at Wimui High that's higher up on the evolutionary scale. Like Larry Simpson. Larry Simpson? No way! 
Don't be so negative. <laughs> Hi, guys. A little bird told me I'd find you in here. Any old way. I really need your help. As chairperson of the freshman dance committee, it behooves me to recruit people who don't have anything better, who aren't too busy after school, to make posters and things like that. So can I sign you two up? Say, what were you two doing in there anyway? Drugs. <laughs> That's not funny. like one of your favorite spots? Um, I don't know. I think maybe I fainted. Well, maybe I should get the school nurse. Oh, no, no. Really, I'm fine. I'm OK. You don't have to do anything. Don't you have to be somewhere? Yeah, in the study hall doing my trig homework. Look, what do you think Marcus Welby would do in a case like this? Young lady, have you been drinking too much coffee? Well, you see, I didn't eat any lunch again today. And I was coming up the stairs, and I felt really dizzy. And you're Larry Simpson. Why are you being so nice to me? Um, well, either I'm just an extremely nice person, or I'd rather do anything than my trade home. Or both. Listen, you hungry? <laughs> Simpson said to you. Okay, I was on the stairs, and suddenly everything looked blurry, and I fainted on him. Wait a minute, let me get this straight. Are you telling me that you fainted on top of Larry Simpson? Oh my God, some people have all the luck. I never even fainted. And I came to in his arms. Did he smother your upturned face with passionate kisses? Well, no, no, he didn't really get intense or anything, but he did say that I have a really unusual mind. That's it. Hey, if he already admires your mind, how long can it take before he notices your body? <laughs> this body? Brain! Hutchinson! I said run! Come on! Anyway, Larry must sort of halfway like me because he took me to the Grease. No! Yes! And the thing is, Larry's a senior, so he can go to the Grease anytime he wants. But the thing is, he's saving his money for college, so guess what? It's perfect. He brings his lunch. I love it. It's so romantic. I want to kill myself. Oh, Larry, 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 Larry. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Guess who just walked in? How do I look? Fine. Hey, Griff, I want you to meet Patty Green. Take it from me. This girl's got one weird mind. Listen, what was that great line you had about people becoming what they wanted to be when they grew up? Um, well, I just said that if everybody become what they wanted to be when they grew up, that we'd be living in a world full of nothing but firemen, cowboys, and ballerinas. Hey, you know, I happen to do a dynamite Dan Aykroyd. Listen to this. I am Beldar. This is Primat. Jane, you ignorant Are you going to the dance? Uh, yeah. Guess I'll fall by. Then we'll see you there. All right. Good seeing you. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. Did you hear that? He said, bye. He said he'd see you at the dance. He's going to be there, waiting for you. Am I going to be there? Of course we are. And so is Jennifer. I can't wait to see her face when you walk in with Larry Simpson. Don't you know what this means? That Larry likes me? It means we finally have clout. La suya hermana silama Maria. I don't care what Carlos does with his sister. Lauren! Hello, can I talk to you for a second? Shh. 
Ow. Why are you shouting? All right, mellow out. Look, um, can I ask you something? I mean, uh, I, I don't want to bother you or anything, but um, I wanted to ask you this question for a long time now. And I hope I'm not embarrassing you by asking you this. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Hey, say no more. Yes. Um, you go to the dance with me? With you? Yeah. Johnny can drive us in a slash mobile. Buddy and I love you. Know why? Because we're into the Stooges. So, Johnny, you will drive us to the dance Friday, won't you? Johnny? Friday? Uh, I don't know. Friday could be rough, man. He'll drive us. I, I don't know. I usually go to the city and hang out at this record store on Friday. This guy I know sometimes comes by there. He used to be a, a roadie for the Clash. So you go to the city a lot? City? Oh, sure. Yeah, I go there all the time. I know a lot of people there. Totally different head, man. Totally. <laughs> you want to go to the city with me, Friday? She's going to the dance. <laughs> okay. I'll drive you to the dance, then. And then maybe later, uh, we can go to the city. You know, a lot of the clubs just start getting hectic around one or two. I have to be home by 10.30. But maybe if there are any clubs open, um, say, Saturday afternoon? I think it's a way to get right, to the look, dance. Call the Ritz. Call the Ritz. Call the Ritz. Okay. All right, we'll go with you. But no drugs. I don't do drugs. What do you think I am? Some kind of hippie? I'm new wave man. Totally different head. Totally. And you have to stay six paces behind us at all times, just like Prince Philip. Prince Philip who? You know, Prince Philip of the royal family of England. He always comes six paces behind the queen. I must have a that in my sex life. <laughs> I'd love it. Faith that he is not going to show up. Yes, he is. I know he is. I believe he is. You make him sound like the tooth fairy. Can we go inside? I got poor circulation. My hands and feet are always falling asleep. Sometimes my whole body falls asleep. Uh, Lauren, my six love. Six paces, remember? Six of mine or six of Johnny's? Whichever's longer. Or about a slash. We got a maid. That simple never show. Be dancing with them in milliseconds. Dance? Yes. With them? Yeah. I dance alone. It's a totally different head. Totally. All right, all right, relax. Look. It's all in the beat. It's all in the rhythm. Look. Take my hand. Take my hand. There you go. All right, people. In case you hadn't noticed, the dance is inside the gym, not out here. So please go in and buy your tickets ASAP. Otherwise, our entire class will have to wait until maybe November to adopt that little Guatemalan child. So please, people, inside. Hey, it's OK. I see him. The cavalry have arrived. He's alone. Come on, you two. Wait, what do I do? What do I say? Tell him you have a feeling that you'll both remember this night for the rest of your lives. Tell him just looking at him turns your stomach into thousands of tiny velvet winged butterflies. And remember, be cool. Come on. Hi, Larry. Eddie. You recognize you that your glasses? Glasses? Oh, yeah, I wear them for reading sometimes. We look nice. So do you. In fact, just looking at you turns really, my stomach. I mean, stomach. <laughs> I almost didn't come tonight because I couldn't find a clean shirt. Mm. But, um, well, listen, I guess I'm here. I may as well go in. You coming? Yeah, I guess I will. Let's go. I know that they are late, but they are going to be famous. I just know they're going to be the new eagles. <laughs> I'd like to apologize to Principal Dingleman and to the little Guatemalan child for their tardiness, but all's well that ends well. So, people, let's really hear it for the waitresses! <laughs> Touch 
I think I'm gonna get a soda. Want a soda? Um, no thanks. Uh, I think your friend over there is trying to get your attention. I think she wants a soda too? No! I mean, she never drinks soda. Did he try to kiss you yet? Do you hold on a second? We just got here. Remember, he's a sophisticated older man. We're talking Seduction City. So watch out. When I need your advice, I'll ask for it. Now tell me again what I'm supposed to say. You know that bit about I have this... I have the feeling that we'll both remember this night for the rest of our lives. Okay, now get out of here before he gets back and take my glasses. I really like this song. So do I. You want to dance? Yeah. that we'll both remember this life for the rest of our nights. What? Well, don't you have that feeling? Well, you know that... Patty, when I met you outside just now, were you waiting for me? No. Well, yes, I was. Look, I don't know how to say this, but... I thought you liked me. I do like you. It's just that I'm seeing somebody else. Who? You don't know her. She's in college. You're not gonna cry, are you? Yes. I mean, no. I never meant to make you think that... Larry, you needn't reproach yourself. I understand perfectly. I've had some experience with this sort of thing before, you know. Really? I think you're a terrific kid with a lot of potential. Don't give it another thought. Why ask for the moon when we have the stars? You certainly have an unusual mind for a kid your age. I think I'll go join my friend now. Patricia. Like, I guess you won't have to dump Vinny now. <laughs> if only guys wore lipstick, then we'd know the exact spot where his lips touched your flesh. I hate myself. I wish I were dead. How romantic! It's a classic triangle. You're in love with an older man who's in love with an older woman. Now all you have to do is win him away from her. How? Don't worry, we'll think of something. Listen, Marshall and Johnny want to know if we'll dance with them. They're tired of being Prince Philip. My life is over. I might as well dance with Johnny Flash. Square, 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 square. Always never quite right. Square, 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 square. Hey, one size does not fit all. <laughs> <laughs>